Hey, what's up guys? This video, I wanted to teach you guys how to invoke a method in a super class. Or in other words, if you have a class that extends another one, so student extends user, how can we call a method in the user class? When would you ever possibly want to use this? Well, we're overriding this say hello method. But what if we, for a specific reason, wanted to invoke the user version instead of the student version. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so in the user class, what we're gonna do, first, we're not gonna make this abstract because it kind of makes it impossible. So we're going to actually give this an implementation and we'll just say user version. All right, so there may be a situation where in the student class, which extends user, needs to invoke this method for a particular use and here's how to do that. Inside of the student class, all you gotta do is say super dot, and now you can access all that stuff. So for example, say hello. Now let's invoke this and see what happens. From our code, all we gotta do, first thing we need to give it a first and last name because we don't have that default constructor. So kind of off topic, but I just thought I'd finish that out real quick. And then all we gotta do is say s dot say hello. Run this, and look, it says user version. And then it says down here, this is the student version. So this is important if the user class would have some set of logic that you need to access inside of the student class, but you don't want to have to repeat it. You can specify you want the parent class version of something by prefixing the method call with super. And you do that within the context of the derived class code, such as student here. So that's how you use the super keyword. Thank you guys for watching and check out the next video.